Hi, this is David. In my last video, I showed you how to register an application in Azure Active Directory. If you want to see that again, that is video number 137. In this video, I'm going to show you how to grant permissions to that application registration to perform some action. In this case, I'm going to use the action of calling one of the APIs inside of Microsoft Graph. I'll do a video later on with Microsoft Graph, but right now I want to show you how you can grant permissions to do something. Now this starts with Azure Active Directory. So here I've logged into the Azure portal and I've actually logged on as administrator. You will need permissions in order to do this. Uh, and then I go to Azure Active Directory, either clicking this icon here or in the left menu, we have it here, or I can search for Active Directory and find it this way. Anyway, just get to Azure Active Directory. And then I already created an app registration. So I'm going to go down to this app registration button to display the app registration blade and find the one that I created. Um, I named it GCAST something. If I didn't see it right here, then I could just search for GCAST app registration. There it is. And in here, I'm concerned about API permissions. So I'll click on this API permissions. By default, it has this user.read permission. It's a delegated permission. Delegated permission is really just for uh, if you're already running under a context, you want to continue to use that context, then that'll work. But what I want to do is I want to call an API. And when I make that call, I want to assign the account that's associated with this app registration to that call so it'll run into that in order to, in, in order for it to work that account has to have the right permissions that's what i'm going to do here i'm going to add a permission and i'm going to call microsoft graph here's some some of these lines are just subsets of microsoft graph you want to be more specific because graph covers oh all sorts of things like um, reading and writing users and uh, emails and teams and onedrive all sorts of things um, but i click on microsoft graph here and i want application permissions. Typically, this is for user interfaces that uh, you want to continue to pass a, um, the same user account to all the calls, but I want to just call an API and explicitly give it the account associated with this registration. Uh, here's some bunch of categories here. I can search for what I want, or I can scroll all the way down and find the user right here and expand that. Keep on going down and underneath that is here's all the things I can do with users Ex export all invite all etc. I want to be able to read all I don't want to write anything. I just want to read all users profile information. So I'll check that. Click on add permissions it takes me back to the screen. See there it is user dot read dot all is now added to it. Um, however, you notice this this particular permission requires admin consent admin consent is required yes and this little warning here says we haven't yet granted admin consent however i happen to be logged on as an admin so i can just click on this button grant admin consent and confirm it by clicking yes here and that message goes away a little check mark appears in its place so now i have actually given permission for this account associated with this application registration to read all profiles within Microsoft Graph, all user profiles within Microsoft Graph. It's pretty simple. Um, you do have to be logged on as an administrator to have permission to do this. That's that's kind of the catch. Um, and it's fairly straight. But once you do that, it's fairly straightforward to do this. This is David. Thank you for watching. Yeah.